In the late 1880s and early 1990s, the Department of Interior initiated irrigation projects across Indian reservations in the West. These irrigation projects were intended to be a central component for tribal economies. Construction of these projects ended sometime in the 1940s and many irrigation projects were never fully completed. In 2006, the Government Accountability Office found that many of these projects were plagued by maintenance issues, structural deficiencies, and insufficient funding for project operations. In recent years, the committee has held two hearings on Indian irrigation projects, a field hearing in Wyoming in 2011 and an oversight hearing September of 2014. Those hearings confirmed a serious backlog in deferred maintenance exists and continues to grow. Many ranchers and farmers, both Indian and non-Indian, still depend on the Bureau of Indian Affairs to deliver water for their needs. While the Bureau has indicated the current backlog costs exceed $567 million, some Indian tribes estimate it may be even higher than that, much higher. Today, the Indian Irrigation Program is responsible for the oversight and administration of these projects that deliver water to over uh, 25,000 users. One of these projects is on the Wind River Reservation in my home state of Wyoming. The photos before the dais are taken from various parts of the Wind River Irrigation Project. In the photo set you see before you, you can see a comparison of structures on the reservation. The left photo represents the ancient deteriorating infrastructure still in use on the reservation. The other photo represents the dramatic improvement that has occurred in the few areas where these systems are rehabilitated and adequately maintained. From the next set of photos, you can see the basics of the irrigation system. On the left, you'll see the grading system put in place uh, by the Bureau of Indian Affairs. You can also see the brush overgrown around the canal. On the right, you'll see uh, the even modest rehabilitation efforts can transform these structures. In this case, the tribes contributed with the state, uh, with the state for the re that rehabilitation. This legislation would also facilitate more collaboration between the tribes and the states. Many other Indian irrigation projects are in the states of members who sit on this committee, including Montana, Washington, Arizona, New Mexico, and Idaho. Careful management of the water in Indian communities is essential if we are to ensure a reliable supply for the future. The Irrigate Act would bring the Indian irrigation projects into the 21st century. It would authorize $35 million each year beginning in fiscal year 2016 until fiscal year 2036 to begin addressing the deferred maintenance needs. The bill would also require a study on the operation of these projects. These projects continue to be a very important source of income and economic development for the surrounding communities. The federal government's promise to Indian country to build and maintain these projects needs to be fulfilled. The bill, this bill is a start in the right direction.